Hello world, hello world, hello world. Chris Jenkins here with Charlotte Vibe with some breaking news. So much so that I had to go live. So give me just a moment to get everything completely straight. Let me get lined up here on the camera. We're gonna sit down and have a little conversation today about some things that are going on with this Carolina Panthers football team, right? Some stuff going on today that a lot of people thought was going to happen. Many people thought would never happen. Nevertheless, we're going to talk about it, see how you guys feel about it. Man of the people. So, you know, if I'm the man of the people, I got to jump on when there's some news like this. And I really, really want to hear what everybody has to say. So, all right, got everything set up. Let me go ahead and formally introduce myself. I'm Chris Jenkins, credential media member of Charlotte Vibe, covering the Carolina Panthers and Hey, before I get into it too much, here's the best time to plug this, which is if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, you love the Carolina Panthers, you want to hear news about them, hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications if you want to be notified of live videos just like this when I go live to tell you Carolina Panthers breaking news and hear your opinions about things and answer your questions about it. So, Oh, and hit that like button if you've already done all that stuff. Show some support. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get right on into it, which you can see from the title of this broadcast, Cam Newton. Uh, it is currently 1.56 Eastern time. I want to say about 1.30 about, give or take a few minutes. It's when the news first broke about Cam Newton being placed on end reserve. So that ends a lot of questions about this team, what could happen, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't end every question about the future for Cam Newton beyond 2019 because with the injured reserve, you have the opportunity to place one player with designated to return. Carolina Panthers have chosen not to do that with Cam Newton. So he is going to be out for the remainder of the 2019 season. What I do not have absolute clarity on is how much he will be around the team. I know in some cases they... Uh, most of the time when the guy's on the end of reserve, he's not around. So that'll be something that will be cleared up, I'm sure, over the next couple of days about how much we will see Cam. Will he be at the games on Sunday cheering them on? <clears throat> but let's uh, – so that's, that's, that's it. That's really the bulk of it, you know. Most of the talks was would, he, would they, would they not. Uh, to give you some more input about it or more information about it. So Cam last week, Friday, I believe, flew to Green Bay to get a third opinion on his foot. And he went to visit with a trainer or a doctor that was a pre previous on the staff with the Carolina Panthers to get a more of an opinion on that foot because that foot has not been healing well enough for Cam to play. After meeting with that gentleman, then it was still decided that Cam is doing the best thing that can be done for this injury, which is to rest. There is no imminent need to go ahead and have a surgery that would speed anything up and help his situation out any better. So as many people probably thought, and as I was thinking like, hey, it's going to be time to do something because at this point, time to do something in the sense of something to help the team out because at this point, you feel like it, the later he's getting into the season to return, the more likely that he should just not be uh, the starting quarterback at that point because of the, the time missed. Sorry for the pause. I'm just trying to, again, get everything that I have, a little, lot of stuff going on to keep in place. All right, here we go. So, yeah, so after that opinion, it was determined that he should just continue to rest. And today the Carolina Panthers determined that ultimately he needs to just go ahead and rest for the full season. Now, my opinion on that move in itself, I like it. I'm not opposed to that move because regardless of the future possibilities, him trading, him coming back to the team, obviously with this guy, you want to get him to 100%. Cam is an athletic quarterback. He does a lot of things. And with him playing injured, it just doesn't work for him for whatever reason. It could be something mentally as well that he doesn't feel the same. But for whatever reason, it doesn't work for him if he's not fully healed. So. I'm happy that they're giving him a chance to heal and be a good football player when he does return. So 
That's my spiel. Let's get into some questions that you guys have because that's why I got online. That's why I invested into all this stuff. Hey, if you like what I do, want to donate to what I do, want to help me continue to do what I do, which is bring you this information, links are below in the description for you guys to donate, Super Chat, Cash App, anything like that that you want to help do for me to continue to be an independent journalist covering Carolina Panthers. I appreciate you. All right, so let's get into these questions. By the way, retweet this, share it, let people know about what we're talking about here right now. Cody, my man Cody, who is the originator of giving me my title of man of the people, he says he's heartbroken. I'm sure that you are not alone in being heartbroken, Cody. Grim, I can't say your name, but Jack or Jack looks like is your second name. Says it had to be done. Cam's health is what's most important. I agree with you a lot. By the way, this, this picture has been given away. I forget who it was, but I left a comment on the video about the giveaway for that Thomas Davis picture. So check your comments. The winner has been chosen for that Thomas Davis thing. King Gatlin, Cam, get Cam healthy. We need him back. MVP Cam. All right. D Tice, yo, <laughs> what's up? Appreciate you joining in. Appreciate you joining in. Neek22, why for the life, why for the life of me, the media keeps speculating that this is potentially the end of his run in Carolina. All right, Neek, I'm here to be of service to you guys and anybody else that has any questions giving you my opinion. So my opinion on the media talking about this is potentially the end of his run in Carolina. Here's the reason for it. it Kyle Allen is playing good. Kyle Allen has a team four and one, regardless of all you can say he has Christian McCaffrey, regardless you can say the defense. Kyle Allen is not destroying, not setting back this team from reaching their potential and being successful. Kyle Allen has shown very good poise in the pocket. He's shown very good accuracy in the pocket. He's shown that he can run an NFL team. Therefore, if you have a guy that can run a team currently is four and one, He's not Cam, he's not Drew Brees, but he is successful. He does have a, I believe, a half million dollar a year contract. Just from a business standpoint, if he continues to do well, why would you not have confidence that Kyle Allen can continue to run this North Turner West Coast offense, leverage the weapons that are around him? I'm not in here talking about what weapons Cam had and whatever, this is just what is now. You say Kyle Allen is a capable person to continue to run the hem of this team and potentially trade away Cam Newton, get some other assets around Kyle Allen to help him do what he does. You certainly have the money to do so if you were to let go of Cam Newton. So just from a why is the media, could the media be saying that this is the end of his run? Those are some legitimate reasons that that could be said. So I'm not telling you my opinion of what they should do, but just hoping to shed some light on why that could be a topic. And this has legitimacy to it. All right. Shella, man, I don't know if I ever say your name wrong, right or wrong. Shella Tron in the building. What's up to you, man? Thank you for, for, for joining in here. I hope he has a wonderful recovery. It's all about how you bounce back, says... Man, I can't say some of you guys' names. I'd like to give shout-outs, but appreciate that comment. Again, I'm here to answer you all's questions, bring any light to, to things, questions that you've heard out there, uh, things that you've heard talked about in the media. Bring them up. Let me know. Leave a comment, and I will talk to you about it. So once again, there might be some new people watching. So again, I'm Chris Jenkins, credential media member for Charlotte Vibe that covers the Carolina Panthers, and here to talk to you all about the breaking news with Cam Newton. All right, Trill says the team has to step up even more. I don't think they have to step up even more just because of this. They've had to step up, period, to, to be winning. Let's not forget the object of the game here is to win with 11 people on the field, no matter who that is. And this team has already long adopted the next man up mentality. We've had a slew of injuries. 
We had Kawan Short, who's out for the season. We've had guys that have missed games and practices due to personal reasons that they had to miss. We've had Dante Jackson go out. Uh, we've had, uh, is it Greg Little, with a concussion. So the team always has a step because the name of the game is always to win. So there's nothing more that they need to try to get up and do that they haven't been trying to get up and do, which is to win a daggone ball game every Sunday. Uh, and you just want to hope that they keep doing that and keep feeling that incentive and, and having the tools to win. I feel like they certainly have the tools to compete each and every Sunday. So let me continue to move on because I want to make sure I get to everybody as much as possible. <laughs> Kyle Al Ellis, any updates on who won the TD pick? Yes, the TD picture behind me has been uh, won, has been given away. Let me see if I can quickly let you all know who that was given to. Um, so we're going to have some new pictures up there very shortly. So I'll come back to that because I can't quickly find it. And I know people have a lot of questions and I want to do my best to get to all the questions. But yes, the Thomas Davis canvas behind me has been given away. A healthy cam, 100%, we know it, killing him, he can't play. So, yeah, 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 let's, let's speculate on how Cam Newton's feeling right now. My speculation is that he is devastated, that he, you know, these guys, they've, they've played this game pretty much all their life, and that's what their life centered around, and he hadn't been able to do that and the capacity that he's used to for quite some time. So he may be getting better adjusted to it than he was previously. I mean, it's not his first injury, so he, he's already had to start to, you know, in the past mentally deal with it. But I would say that, and this is just strictly my guess, I don't have a whole lot of, I've talked to Cam, and he said information to go behind this, but just being off of what I've seen, I think he's, okay with it in the sense that he knows like if I can get back I want to be me so if this gets me back to being me and allows me to continue my career then good but as much as it sucks then I'm okay with not just continuing to tarnish the greatness that I was building the greatness that I want to have out there the greatness like he just wants to be a football player when he plays and you could talk about how he didn't seem himself the first two games that he was out in the regular season didn't have the charisma, didn't have the pizzazz, and that's because he couldn't perform. So my speculation is that that's what he's hanging his hat on right now as he goes through this process is the possibility that I can be all of me. And I say possibility because I still don't know what the full, full diagnosis is on what he's dealing with, how many weeks, and et cetera, that it could be for him to get back to full health. Fantra Lehman, we need a backup. So I'm glad that you said that we need a backup because that's what I have been talking about with this possibility of if Cam doesn't come back. I said, if Cam doesn't come back, then I don't like Will Greer as our backup quarterback. I'm fine with him as a developmental quarterback, him being on the 53-man roster, but I didn't see enough from him doing the, to, to say that he's, I can hang my hat on him starting the game. Now, if, yeah, so I hope that the, that the Carolina Panthers make a corresponding move to get some depth at quarterback. I've said before, I don't know who all is out there available. Not trying to start a little war win, but I've, I've heard people talk about Kalen Kaepernick. I probably just said his name wrong, but Cap. And I have been more open to entertaining that just from the sex. I don't know how many free agents out there are available. We can't trade for anyone at this point. So uh, I, I wouldn't be opposed to it because again, I don't know who all is out there. Maybe you guys do. I have not done my research to know what quarterbacks that are decent, that are available, that are still in shape <laughs> that we could pick up. But I do agree that we need another quarterback behind Kyle that's not Will Greer. Hey, and if you guys have some suggestions for quarterbacks, leave them in the comments. Start typing them now. So, 
All right, Connor. Fire Ron. Okay, somebody doesn't like my man Ron Rivera. That's not surprising. All right, so we, I got some questions on Twitter. So I'm going to come back to YouTube. Right now I'm broadcasting both on Twitter and both on YouTube. So let me switch over to some Twitter comments. Fred McGee, if he returns, you mean everyone is saying he won't be back. Fred, you're going to have to go back and, if you don't mind, expand on what you're saying because I think you're responding to a comment I said a while earlier. So if you can, Fred, say it again. Keep pounding gang. Is disappointed that Cam is out. I don't blame you there. I'm disappointed as well. Do you think this hurts our ability to even trade Cam since this is clearly a more serious issue? That question comes from NC Pirate on Twitter. Nah, I don't think this hurts the ability for Cam to be traded because one thing that it, it does help is that you're not any longer putting out a bad product to sell. You just put him on the shelf and you're saying we're allowing him to get 100% healthy. So I think, I think with teams that would trade for Cam in the future, you're going to want to work him out. You're going to want him, you know, he has to come and go through a physical. So I feel like as long as he passes that, then no. I don't feel like it's going to, to really damage whatever trade value that he's having. I mean, any guy that leaves a team because he's not the starter is going to, you know, not everybody's going to want that guy because obviously something wasn't working out. Whether he had an injury, whether Kyle just started playing better. You know, you get kicked out of a team or you get traded for a reason, and it's not all positives in there. So I don't think it's going to affect his trade value. Nothing significant. So let me continue to go through. Appreciate the questions, by the way. Again, this is why I do it. I like to be a media outlet that engages with my watchers, with my readers, with my viewers. So appreciate everybody that's, that's commenting here. And if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'm going to continue to plug that. Be sure to do so. I'm only like four or five people away from 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. So consider it, all right? All right, let me continue to go through some of these questions that are up here. All right, uh, H.I. Britty, if you will, on Twitter, what is your realistic expectation for the rest of this season? I don't see how your expectations could change, whatever they are, right? Because Cam has been out for five weeks, I guess six technically with a bye week. So if you, you should already have been looking at this team and their possibilities with the mindset of no Cam because that's what we've had for so long. So I still feel like this is a team that is on the cusp of playoff. I feel like they could very easily make the playoffs. I feel like they could very easily barely make the playoffs. But I have confidence in this team because of their defense and because you got Christian McCaffrey on the other side that is having an outstanding year. The really, really good thing that I like about this team is that we've only played one divisional opponent. We still had the Saints to play twice. We still had the Falcons to play twice. And we split with Tampa Bay. So, not that it's an easy task. I mean, the NFC as a whole is a pretty good division. We still have a very realistic chance at making the playoffs, especially if we do well within our division. I don't feel like this is any kind of death sentence. I don't feel like we have no chance at all. We just have to take care of business, continue to win some home games, steal some on the road, play well in our division. And we're capable. It's totally possible. So I'm pretty optimistic on the Panthers for the rest of the season. All right, I'm staying on Twitter right now. So if you guys got your YouTube comments, stay with me. I'm trying to get through this all with everybody. I will, I will stay on for quite a while today to make sure that I get to everybody. Your thoughts on Cam ever returning to the Panthers? I know there's a lot of talk about that. My man, I hadn't heard from you in a while. I appreciate you tuning in. I don't know how to say your name. It's up D, D. Lukowitz. Do I think that Cam will return to the Panthers is extremely hard for me to speculate on because I just don't know what these conversations have been like behind closed doors. I do feel like it's a good pop. I don't think it's far stretched that he could not be with the team. I think it's kind of like I wouldn't be surprised either way. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not with the team because from a business standpoint, 
if Kyle continues to be productive, continues to lead this team to a lot more wins than losses, if I'm Marty Herney, I'm like, hey, let go of Cam. I got the money to get other pieces around Kyle Allen. I'm good to go. Even if I don't feel like Kyle can be the best, I'm like, hey, I can ride this guy out for a while. And then when I see another guy coming up through a draft in three, four, five years, I could pick him up, put Kyle out, and continue to ride some success. Because the whole point is a business, is to win, win now, and put yourself in position to have some assets to do things. So I feel like he could be gone. And could he come back? I feel like he could come back as well because you you could how could you not get excited about a pure 100 percent cam newton leading your team so i feel 50 50 at it right now i know that might not be what people want to hear like ah pick a side but that's how i feel uh somebody says we're seeing the fall of cam newton and the panther you're definitely seeing a a valley with cam newton you're not seeing a valley with the panthers you know but just with Cam Newton, you're definitely seeing a valley with him, with the injuries that he's had. <clears throat> They're piling up, and you certainly could entertain the fact that the, the toll, the wreckage, the hits uh, has, has, has played a role in, in his health. We ride out our team this year with a QB set up. No, I don't feel like we ride out our team with our current quarterback setup. I feel like we, in my opinion, we need to get another backup other than Will Greer. That's, that's my strong opinion. Is this a contract year for Cam? So it's not a contract year, but he has one year remaining, and I believe that final year isn't guaranteed. So that's why people have said it's a contract year, because typically with guys, with quarterbacks, with big contracts, you like to get them redone before the actual contract is up. So that's why you might have heard some contract talks about Cam Newton and where he's at. All right, let me go back over to my people at YouTube because I've been switching back and forth. Uh-oh, let me scroll back up. Appreciate all the comments, by the way. Like I said, I'm going to stay here until I get through. I can't say all, but I'll, I'll give you guys a solid hour and maybe even do another broadcast tonight to make sure I get people's questions answered live. Let me scroll back up. Man, I love all the comments that are coming. All right, Connor says, fire run. He's BS his way through the whole season. A season we'd be done with already, if not for CMC. Rather take a chance on another coach. Um... I'm not on the fire Ron Rivera boat. I feel like he has had some struggles, uh, but I, I feel like he's doing all right. Yeah, I don't know what all I want to say about that. I respect what you had to say, Connor. I appreciate you leaving your comment for sure. But I don't know exactly where the anger and fire Ron comes from because I say if it's related to Cam not being healthy, I don't feel like you could say fire Ron for that. Now, if you want to give me a different angle, you know, let's, let's entertain it. Let's talk about it. What's up, Priscilla? Kind of already touched on that about does he stay with Carolina or not. And I feel like it's a good 50-50. Uh, you know, I might feel like it's 55, 45, 55 percent that he, he goes, 45 percent that he stays. Cody. All right. All right. Cody about about to say something. Cody says, I honestly can't stand how Ron Rivera and Marty Herney handled this situation the past two years. The next year of what team will pick up Cam Newton is going to be insufferable. So for you guys that are not liking Ron, can you tell me a little bit more about specifically what you're not liking about him pertaining to this Cam Newton situation that you want to see him gone? That would help me just to understand a little bit more about you guys. Shelly, you can't keep this one above the biscuit. Not sure what that means, Connor, to, I believe to Shell trying, but maybe you guys do. Do we give Cam a chance to stay behind Kyle? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, Sam Stanley. 
that we give Cam a chance to stay behind Kyle. That's, that's the 50-50 Stanley that I've been touching on. Donna's in the building. What's up, Donna? Cam not going nowhere is Donna's opinion. Ethan Myers, what do you think the Panthers should do? Ethan, uh, I've, I've said this. So anytime I repeat, I don't mind you know, repeating a question. But I just won't go as in-depth if I've already addressed it. But I think the, play, the, Can the Panthers, the Panthers, man, the Carolina Panthers should get a legitimate backup to go behind Will Greer. I don't know who that will be. I'm sorry, behind Kyle Allen and not Will Greer. I think they should get another backup. David Chisholm, well, that's a wrap. Wonder how this contract is going to turn out. That's a good one, David. We are definitely going to see how that all turns out because we just don't know. And I'm pretty sure they're not going to show their hands anytime soon because we're only halfway through the season. So there's no reason for them to do anything more than they have done at this point right now. Priscilla, I'm sorry that your feelings are hurt, but I can, I can assure you that you are not in the minority with your feelings being hurt with this news about Cam Newton. Bar I can't say your name, but I'm going to say Bar Barracue is unbothered. Player from the Himalayas is going to be a prove it year. Prove it year for who? Uh, player from the Himalayas, who is it going to be a prove it year for? I'd like to know what you got to say there. Going back over to Twitter. Loving all the conversation. Loving all the conversation. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, all right? Help me reach 4,000. Uh, somebody said, I think we trade Cam. Then my comments got scrolled on me, so I'm going to come back. That was from the Trey Melton. Uh, my man says, in 2021, Cam will be an unrestricted free agent. That's pending no moves this year. That is correct. Fred McGee, the popular stance is he won't be back. I hear the contract talk, but would they cut him after IR? Nah, you're not going to cut Cam Newton. You're going to trade him. You're not, you're not going to cut Cam Newton. You, you, no, I don't think we're going to. No, you're not going to cut it. Outside of our quarterback situation, what position do you think could boost us for the rest of the season? Outside of quarterback. What could boost us for the rest of the season? Mm. Wide receivers are doing pretty good, in my opinion. Quarterback is, you know, quarterback, running back is all-star. Uh, we may need some depth on the defensive side with the secondary. James Bradbury got hurt the other day, but I, I would maybe say we don't need, we just depth, depth would be a good thing for us right now. I keep feeling like that secondary, even though I want to, I feel like I want to pick along the offensive line or defensive line, but I can't quite sort through it for that question about what position could give us the most boost for the rest of the season between the offensive line, defensive line, and defensive secondary. So, sorry. Tepper isn't an owner that isn't going to wait want to just play around. He wants to win and win now. Yeah, yeah, he wants to. All these owners want to win it. Well, some of them make some poor decisions, but I would agree with you on that one, sir. The organization has never fully protected Cam Newton. He put his body on the line for the Panthers. See, all right, I had planned on doing a video tonight to talk about D'Angelo Williams' comments about Cam Newton and the organization. And this is something that I feel like we can forget about. The object of the game is to win. And you do whatever you can to win, right? So if you got a guy that's 6'4", six, 6'5", six, whatever tall, however big Cam Newton is, but has the athletic ability of Cam and everybody else around him isn't as good, and you know that on fourth and one, fourth and two, you can say, hey, Run your big body up the middle and get us a first down. You're not going to sit there and say, you know what? No, we like Cam. He's a good guy. Let's not run him up the middle to get the first down on fourth and two. Let's run the running back, which is still good. You know, Jonathan Stewart, those guys. But there's definitely an advantage when you have a quarterback that's already aligned to push it forward to get the first down. 
then hand it off to the running back that's five yards back. So you're not going to say, let's not run Cam because we don't want to, we don't want to rough him up too much. No, you're not seeing them say, hey, Christian McCaffrey's getting too many touches. He's going to be too great. He, he's going to run out of energy in, in three or four. They don't care. Their job is to win now, right? So, no, you can't say they, they were to protect him. The only times you could maybe say protect the guy is when he has an injury that's severe and you're putting him back out there knowing that he can't, he can't you know, he's not all with it. But outside of that, it, it's a business to, to win, to win now, to get the most out of every guy that you got on this team. That's why when guys get hurt, they, they want to hurry back because they know next guy up, he gets some potential, he gets some reps, he does good. He might, he, you now give him somebody a chance to take your position and nobody wants to do that. So I don't feel like you can baby these guys. They're not babies. It's, 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 a, it's a violent sport. That's why a lot of people like it, we like watching it. So don't get mad at somebody for saying, I got a guy who's the king of violent, runs up the middle, who can do all this, and, and he got hurt. Nah, I don't, I don't buy into that too much. All right, let me, let me keep on going. It's hard for me to give shout outs on Twitter because the names are so cryptic, but Christo with a bunch of numbers, will, will he be on a different team next season? Christo, I said that's like 55, 45, 55, that he will be on a new team next season, my little opinion. The Panthers need to get Brady next year. Now, the Panthers getting Brady. Uh, no, I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like we need to get Brady because Brady doesn't have much time left. And he is good, but also let's you know, be real. I'm not trying to take anything away from Brady, but part of his dynamic is the Bill Belichick and knowing his offense exquisitely. So, I mean, he's darn good, but I don't, I don't think we, I would want a Brady for a year or two. I'd rather keep developing some guy that we can have for a while. Eller B12 says Cam's heart isn't in it no more. I think he's done. He's doing it for an image. All right. <laughs> Josh Klein is saying... We need to wrap our minds around the fact that Cam has played last snap as a Panther. I'm not, I'm not against that, Fred. I'm not, like I said, I've been saying, at first on the, on the video I was saying 50-50, but then I'm, I'm thinking about it, and I feel like it's a pretty good possibility that we would not see him because of those things that I've talked about of being past his prime, you know, if he comes back 100%. He's still, in my opinion, not going to be the super cam that he was at 25, 26. He'll still be good. He'll still be a, a starting, capable starting quarterback in the NFL. But if you have Kyle Allen that can run this offense effectively, I mean, like, get over the fact of who's more exciting to watch, right? Get over the fact of who, who can run the ball on fourth and two and just look at the overall operate a game as a quarterback, get your team in a position to win and win. They both are capable. They just have different styles that they would do it. And if you're winning with Kyle Allen, lesser contract, more, more tools that you could put around him to help him to continue to succeed and play off his skill set, you're good to go. CMC will want big money to stay if Cam's traded, how much do we have in cap money? Hey, if Cam goes. So the cap questions I would need to get back to you guys on. I've never been that versed in all those contracts. Of course, Christian McCaffrey is going to want big money. I don't think it would be, I can't even think of the words if, if Carolina doesn't understand already that they have to pay him. And again, potentially this is a reason to let Cam Newton go. I'm not saying let's let him go, but I'm just, you know, want to enter. I want to give some meat to everybody's thoughts. Chris McCaffrey needs big money. Cam Newton's gone. We're making it right now without Cam Newton. Helps give you the ability to pay that guy, right? Just looking at it from a pure, pure business standpoint. All right, going back over to YouTube. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to just get back to the last spot that I was at. Trill one said that because the rest of the season is tough. Kyle, 
Ellis, Sam, say Cam is no longer Panther next year. Is Will Greer ever an option? Kyle Allen is a good quarterback, but to me, not a franchise quarterback. Yeah, you can, I mean, he has an earned franchise quarterback, right? You know, that once in a 10 year kind of quarterback that you can have for your team, but he's certainly a good quarterback. You don't have to be a franchise quarterback to be a starter on an NFL team for a number of years, for a good five year run, right? For a good three year run even. So the option on Will Greer, as of right now, he isn't a good backup. As of right now, he still has a lot to learn. Could he be? He could be. But I, I would just say right now, I want somebody behind Kyle other than Will Greer. We will need 11 or 12 wins to get in as a wild card this year. Looking at our remaining schedule, do you think Kyle can get us 10 more wins? Get us more than 10 wins. I'm sorry, get us more than 10 wins. That is a question from Barrick Evangelista. Sorry if I'm butchering you guys' names, but I like to try to say names to give people a shout out. All right, so we're already at five wins. So do I think Kyle Allen can get us 10 more wins? I'm sorry, five more wins. Uh, I'm going to look at the schedule. I'm going to tell you before I even look at the schedule, I feel like, yes, because we have a very, very, very good defense and some darn talented people on our offense. And I feel like it gives you a chance to win. It's not like, man, we really got to dig deep and find some intestinal fortitude that we've never had. You got a great defense. You got a really good offense, a great superstar on offense. It's possible that you can win every Sunday. So we got Green Bay this weekend. It's a toss up. You got Atlanta, winnable. Let's say we still lease one from New Orleans. That's two. Washington Redskins, that's three victories. You got Atlanta again, four. Seattle Seahawks, it's a home game, so why not? Five. You got the Indianapolis Colts, six. You lose to the Saints the next time, yes. <laughs> I think we could win six of the next of the other final games is, is quite possible. All right, let me continue to go to some questions. Cam couldn't get us more than 10 this year. Playoffs are a wrap. Ethan Myers, what would be the trade value if we were to hypothetically be traded in the off season? It's hard to say right now because I think for the most part, like he's going to have some value, period, because he's Cam Newton, and you say that he'll be healed at that point. Trade value really goes into what other teams need, who's desperate. You know, it only takes one person to make it a high market for a player. And if one team wants him badly, then, then you'll get him. I don't know how to, if I could put a, a, a value on Cam at this time. Connor saying a first and a third. Yeah, against contracts, trade values, things I haven't really wrapped my head around a lot, but you no, know, I try to answer any questions that you all give to me. And just be honest and transparent about what I do and do not know. Neat, that TD picture behind you is a testimony to how an organization shouldn't give up unless the person does. All right, I see you, Neat, with some, some provocative, some provocative words there. Taylor Heineke. Nah, we don't need to bring Taylor back. Taylor's gone because Will Greer and Kyle Allen were seen as guys that had more potential than T Taylor. Taylor Heineke was a guy that we had had on the team for a while and had a pretty good idea of what his ceiling was. And, you know, I would say they felt like these other two guys, Will and, and Kyle, has, had a higher ceiling. So they parted ways. I'd rather him retire as a true Panther, says CLB. Priscilla being busy on here. I appreciate you, Priscilla. I don't want him to retire, but I want him to end his career as a Panther. Young Jeezer, if he leaves, then I hope he goes to the Bears and not a team like the Dolphins or something. Yeah, I, 
I'm a person that certainly, I, I wish a lot of these guys success if they don't make it here. A lot of these guys are good people, you know, just trying to win, just trying to play a sport, trying to make a living. So it would be cool to see Cam have success if he leaves and goes somewhere else. Football is not the same without Cam. Now that, that, that is undeniable that there's a different fun factor with watching this team. Yeah, you'll be happy that they're winning, but you can still say there's, it's exciting to have an athletic quarterback. It just really is. So it, it, it would be something to miss if it's no longer here. Absolutely. Young Jeezer, am I saying your name right, boss? We just got to hope the Rams, the Eagles, Vikings start losing. That's our competition for the wild card spot. Player from the Himalayas says, Cam is coming back next year. Let's relax. We'll have to see. Donna Bowman is just sad. Priscilla, do I know what for sure? Bears, Panthers, Sunday night football, Cam Newton revenge game. <laughs> All right, I think I'm doing a good job of getting through these comments here. Not a fall off. I think it's only right to give Cam one more year. Darius Jones says he thinks it's fair to give Cam one more year. Man, it's, it's, it's uh, not always what's fair in this world. <laughs> I, I can't say that I feel like they're going to give him one more year. I, I can't. I, I couldn't say that. Fry and Bender, Jake and Finn. Man, that's, that's a lot of names you got going on there. Stop reaching people. We want Cam to stay. Let's stop speculating. He only on injured reserve. That's what Fry and Bender, Jake and Finn says. Young Jesus, this all happened because of Ron Rivera. Started him in a preseason game. Ron needs to be fired. I, I'm not against starting a player in a preseason game because these guys still need reps. They just can't walk out there and not have gone against anybody and have all this chemistry. You, I mean, you just you got to practice your craft. So it's, and it's not like they're trying to play them for the whole preseason game. But I mean, if 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 I'm a quarterback, if I'm any player, I want to get hit. I want to see what opposition. I want to have some some real action before I have to do it on a Sunday and it counts. Now, something, a, a different angle, like if they shorten the preseason schedule up and then teams start doing a lot more of combined practices, I like that idea because as Ron Rivera mentioned, and this is where I'm getting this information from, he says he really likes that because it's, it's much more of a controlled environment. Yes, you can still have them going up against somebody that's on the other team, but you could be short with the whistles. You could be quick with the whistles. You could, you could do things that, that helps keep the players safe while still getting them in a little bit more competitive environment to help them tune up for the season. But I feel like until something like that is a full-time or bigger thing, you got to play people in the preseason so that they can get sync, get system, et cetera, et cetera. Is it going to be cold in Lambeau? Yeah, it's going to be cold, man. It's, it's, it's a trip that I'm looking forward to because I've never been to Green Bay. Excited to see Title Town. I got to get me some winter gear. So, hey, you guys haven't given me any super chats this, this conversation yet. So, quick plug, independent media, supported 100% by you guys. That's why I say I'm the man of the people. And I do a lot of stuff that you guys want to do. Uh, Throw in some donations if you have the ability to do so. If you don't, still can show some support by just hitting that like button. Hitting subscribe, helping me reach 4,000 subscribers. And make sure you hit the bell notification so that you can take part in these live conversations. There's too many people emotionally. Uh-oh, I lost some spot. Hold on. Too many people emotionally invested in Cam. I want him back next year for a prove it deal, but this ain't no relationship, homie. That's, that's a good way to put it, right? You know, the reasons that they have general managers is to help have people that remove themselves emotionally from the game. It's, you know, you see the commercials on TV about fantasy football and 
Too many people had that issue, and it's human. I can't say that you're wrong for having that human emotional attachment, but you know, just like the person in your fantasy league that's like, hey, such and such is my guy. I know he's been hurt. I know he's old, but I'm going to start him, and they end up not winning. You, you, you make those decisions all the time with emotion. You're not going to win. Marty Herney, when he came back to the Carolina Panthers, said that that's one of the things that he's learned to do more of is like, hey, remove the heart make business decisions, keep your job, had a team win. Everybody won't be happy, but the people that need to be happy will be happy if you can do that. So not an easy thing to do, play it for the Himalayas, but yes. Parker Shore, here we sign Dante Moncrief. I'm not sure how that helps us because he doesn't return kicks, punts, and he's very inconsistent. He's got the speed and measurables, but how does that help the team? So I always try to get players that are newly signed to the team on to show uh, Dante. Dante, Greg Dortch was on the show last week. So I'm going to pursue Dante to get him in here as soon as possible, let you guys meet him, talk to him. But about his ability to help the team, yeah, it seems pretty marginal that he could. It seems like I would prefer a move like this happen in the offseason where he could be a part of the practice squad, not part of the practice squad, but part of a larger roster that we have as we try him out and make some decisions. I don't see how this guy could make an impact right now, especially with seeing that he, um, I believe, and I hadn't researched this, and I like to tell you guys honestly where I am with the stuff when I say it, that he has had more drops in Pittsburgh than he had catches. So I feel like he should definitely be inactive this Sunday against Tampa Bay. And maybe since the, the only relation that I saw, and I still don't believe big in it, is that Dante had a relationship, I'm sorry, was previously coached by our wide receivers coach. And when he was, he had one of his best seasons. So that's potential that they're going to, that's what they hung their hat on. So look, I, I feel like I had some super chats and if I missed what you said, please forgive me. But National Flair, appreciate your super chat. And I'm gonna hopefully see your question if you submitted a question, because if you do a super chat with a question, then I wanna make sure that I acknowledge you. All right, Priscilla Crosby. With the, hey, is there a reason why it's, I'm not at all complaining, but I've seen a few like 499 type super chats, and I'm like, why is it 499? I want to make sure that I allow you guys to donate more if you want to do more, and I didn't put any kind of limitations out there on that. So appreciate you foremost, Priscilla, but if there's a reason that there are 499 that I've been seeing, let me know because I need you guys' support. Uh, and trust me, with, this, with this, these donations, it helps me to do things like buy the equipment that I have, attend the games, and, you know, I'll be honest, my credit card companies are loving me right now because the debt is, uh, is enough to buy a car <laughs> because of me trying to do this as I wait for some of the donations to come in. So really appreciate that. And let me see if I can make sure that I see all these, these super chats that came through. Okay, it looks like there are recent Super Chats, and I don't think that I have missed you guys, so I appreciate it very much. Thank you, National, National Flair, and, and I will keep this up. So, oh, and also just a little footnote, I have my T-shirts, clothing that's coming out, so you guys can buy those things, some cool things that are coming out that should be up by Monday. I think you guys will love it, so I want to do something also help give something back to those who are able to contribute to help me continue to run Charlotte Vibe. So be on the lookout for that as well. All right, let me go back up, make sure I have not skipped anybody. We got about 17 more minutes left. Let me switch back over to Twitter because I don't want to be missing those guys over there. Have I missed anything on Twitter? Mama Lucinda. Do you think more is going on behind the scenes than we know with Cam and the team? Now, there's always something going on that we don't know about. Do I feel like there's some like Cam really doesn't want to stay kind of type soap opera drama? Nah, I don't. I don't feel like there's anything like that going on. I feel like they're just, they're just 
want him healthy. I mean, they're not going to tell us, hey, we're thinking about putting him on injury reserve. Those are things that you know and expect them to keep behind closed doors. So, no, nah, I don't think so. And then a few people come in and say, Cam is done. So let me go back over to YouTube. Again, about 15 more minutes left trying to get through everybody's questions. Sincerely, hey, this has been one of the, no, this has been the most engaging live video that I have done. I really appreciate it. Again, I'll consider doing another one tonight just to make sure that there's, like, I'm here for you guys. Like, you can't be the man of the people and not be here. So I love to answer and engage with you guys. Only media in Charlotte that can do that. So I'm going to leverage it. All right, let me, I think I'm about caught back up. Um, go through a hardcore depression if Cam leaves, man. I can't say that there's not going to be a lot of people going through a very valid depression if Cam Newton leaves. He's, I mean, he's exciting to watch. He's, he's exciting to watch. Please don't trade. Cam says Terrence Tate. We need to tank and get Trevor Lawrence, says Young Jeezer. Uh, all the Panthers players would say keep Cam if they could. Heck yeah. But that's if, you know, if, if they could, if he was healthy, if his foot was working, you know. I will be depressed too. That's why I'm not going to flirt with the idea of Cam being traded, says Fry and Bender, Jake and Finn. Priscilla Crosby, why did we get Will? Hey, Will could be developed. So, you know, he has some potential that they're, they're wanting to see. I'm again just going through all the comments here. Moncrief is a big body for the end zone. So was Kelvin Benjamin. <laughs> he was a big body for the end zone, but that didn't work out. And if the guy is a big body, he gets in position and he's there to make the catch, but he doesn't make the catch, then I mean, I don't feel like this team needs a like some I don't feel like we're missing a red zone threat at all. You got Greg Olson. You got Christian McCaffrey, you got Samuel, you got DJ Moore. You got misdirections that you can do with these guys to even give Kyle Allen a chance to run something in. It's, I don't feel like it's just, oh, we're, we're, we're needing it. We're dying. So, yeah. He got Funch's hands. <laughs> you know, Funch's hands just, they just disappeared all of a sudden. I don't feel like Funch has had a career with the Panthers where it's like, oh, look at his hands. But he certainly had his last season with us, starting with that game in Detroit. Just, I mean, that's, that's one of those cases where you wonder just something mentally went wrong with the guy, uh, dealing with personal things that, that can happen during life, because that was just, just came out of nowhere and it came strong. I guess he's like a big game because he's got good speed. Greer's a bum tape, don't look good on <laughs> Parker show, yeah, fun hands, LMA, big and occasionally useless. All right, getting through the rest of these comments. Maybe he'll be another distraction. You get rid of superstars, superstars burn out. That's probably it. Red used to be a big receiver in college. All right, so we've got some inner talking going on here. We need an offensive-minded coach. Remember Breeze, his light was dim. All right, let me go backwards here. What's up, Vibe? What's up, Tentizzy? Checking Priscilla Crosby coming in with the 1999 Super Chat. Hey, you guys, no lie. So I'm, I'm, I'm a really transparent reporter. I love meeting people. A lot of, and man, so many people last week said what's up to me. So please keep doing so. If you see me, I would like to meet everybody that I can. Please say what's up to me. And at, I think, I can't even name all the people, but I took pictures with people. Like I'm, I'm so happy to meet people that, that see me and recognize me. So don't, don't hesitate to do so. But with these donations, I am gonna be able to order me some gloves to wear in Tampa Bay in Tampa Bay, in <laughs> Green Bay. So I'll be sure, if you, if you follow me, be sure to follow me on all the social medias, everything Charlotte Vibe. At the end of every game, 
I say thank you to my followers on Twitter, and I post that video out there. So if you guys haven't seen that, be sure to follow me over on Twitter. But I will show you that I will have some gloves because my current gloves that I wear, they, they look bad. They look bad. So thank you guys sincerely for these donations so that I can continue to do what I love to do and hopefully what you guys are enjoying <clears throat> watching. Ron Vera and company have completely mismanaged Cam's shoulder and foot injuries, and that's fireball offense in my book. That's shake and bake. So I appreciate you, man, because people have been saying to fire Ron, and I'm like, tell me what. I'm going to step off camera for just a second because I need some water, but you guys will still be able to continue to hear me. So I'm going to be coming right back into view in a second, but fire saying that they mismanaged his injuries for his shoulder and for his foot. I don't, how did you mismanage his injuries? Did you mismanage his injuries by letting him play? Because they kept Cam out of so many practices, so many OTA meetings that I don't feel like they were like, hey, Recklessly go in here and play cam, play cam, play. Like I want to, I really want, if you can, give me some more information about supporting your feelings. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I certainly am I'm open to feeling differently about the opinion than I, I mean, differently about the statement than I do right now. I just need some more in order to, to be convinced to come on your side about that. We have sound back, so I appreciate you guys telling me that. Oh, man, we have sound back. We have sound back. We have sound back. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so let me go back to the question. Christina Langley, as well as, who was it? 
Chris Marie 875 both asking, I don't know if you're the same person, if you switched over from Twitter to get on to Periscope, excuse me. You asked me, do I think Cam Newton is selfish? Excuse me. No, nah, I, don't, I don't think Cam is selfish. I would say he likes the spotlight. He likes the attention. He's, he's been supportive of Kyle Allen and being a backup and supporting him. He even had a video from they had pictures taken this past weekend. And I forget the exact message, but basically he was like, saying, hey, support the, if you can't play, support the other people. You know, it'll come, by, come back to you. It's good karma. So support the other guys. So, no, I don't feel that Cam has, has been a selfish guy. He's definitely different. He definitely dresses in a way that I would never dress. But, I mean, people these days, I mean, you're allowed to have your own personality. So, no, I don't think that he's, he's selfish. Thank you guys for letting me know about losing sound there. I try to look at the meters, and I guess when I ran away to get some water is really when everything died. Let me go back here to some more of these comments here. There's a question about you from Philly. Who was that for? That was from Tim Tizzy. I'm not sure who that question is for. Are you from Philly? Cam has surgery in mid-March, was on field in August. Yeah, should have had the year off like luck. He wasn't practicing because of pain, which is a sign of not being healed. All right, so Shake and Bake, you're giving me some more information about why you think that Ron Rivera and Herney should be fired. Should have had the year off like luck, but he was practicing. So, Cam has a very high threshold for pain. They didn't have Cam throwing every single week. Luck wasn't feeling like he could throw. Luck was for his year off. And Cam did not just hurt his shoulder, he hurt his foot, which is separate from the shoulder. Everybody heals differently, and they took their time with Cam. They didn't say, hey, go in here even though you're banged up. Cam said, and you know, his blocks, that he was hiding some of the injuries from, from the team. So at the time, do you feel like even a limpy Cam could be better than backups that you had? Then yeah, you, you could feel that way. I mean, so it's a lot of guys that can play hurt better than guys that are healthy. But I don't feel like just because one player, Andrew Luck, set out a year that you should automatically know and sit Cam Newton for one. Cam is he's a different person. I, I don't think Cam would just let you, he hadn't been hurt severely before, like just let you sit out a year and he feels like he could play. I feel like he would be like just trading because I don't want to just sit here. Even after he had his truck injury, and he was pretty hurt. I don't know how long he missed, but he missed a lot less time than people thought. And he was able to come back and be well. So I hear you shaking big. I appreciate you providing some more information to support what you were saying. You haven't convinced me yet to, uh, to, to put point blame at Rivera or Herney. And if you got some more information about it that you want to share, go ahead. Like I said, I'm, I'm open to being swayed. We got about two minutes to go. So I am going to again say I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Of course, the breaking news is Cam Newton has been placed on injured reserve. He's going to miss the remainder of the season. It's yet to be seen what's going to happen with him in the future. I think, unfortunately, for a lot of fans, it is possible that Cam will not be on the team next year because of some business moves to keep this team in a position to keep winning and, and get other assets with, with Cam possibly not being at his best with the team, especially if Kyle Allen continues to win. I always invite you guys to hit the subscribe button. If you have not subscribed, hit the notification so that you can take part in these live videos like I'm doing here. I like to say that I'm a man of the people, which means if you guys have questions, comments, questions for players or coaches that I could go and be a vehicle to ask for you, please let me know because that's what I will do. Please stay tuned for more player interviews coming up. I had Greg Dortch on last week. 
have players that are going to be coming on every week for the rest of the season. So again, another reason to hit that subscription button. We will not be in the locker room until tomorrow. Tuesdays are the day off, so I can assure you that I will be in the locker room tomorrow. Get you some more information about this Cam Newton thing and answer any questions that you guys have. So, oh, uh, Tente said, you said water, not water. Water, not water. <laughs> so, so sorry, I'm having a moment there thinking about what I said, but somebody's saying, Am I from Philly? Because how did I say it? I mean, here, all right, so I'm, I'm close to being from Philly, but I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling some type of way because I don't know what I said for you to pick up on that. Nevertheless, water. Do, do I say water funny? Guys, you got to let me know. Leave it in the comments below, but I'm going to sign off for now. Chris Jenkins live from Charlotte Vibe Studios in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you all for watching and have a good one until we meet again.